It could be a normal day heading to work or a quick trip to the grocery store before it instantly turns into your unlucky day. A motorcyclist lost his life. One big mistake. A passenger was killed in a crash. Could cost a life. A motorcyclist was killed in a three vehicle accident. I had the opportunity to ride with the Yuma Police Department in the moment they were dispatched to an injury related accident. I'll ask the drivers what happened, if they were in their seat belt, which is a very important thing to ask, um, how fast they were going, if they were distracted by something or not. Car manufacturers have an electronic data recorder that's able to capture a 20 to 80 page report detailing if seat belts were latched. But on scene evidence can give investigators that information right away. We can check if the seat belt is loose, it's because they were wearing their seat belt. Sometimes if the airbags deployed, the seat belt will lock. And then if we see it, if it's loose, so they were wearing it. If it's um, close to the B pillar, if it's just like very tight, so that could be a possibility that they were not wearing their seat belt. In many cases, drivers point the finger at each other. If on the roadway there's um, skid marks, I can determine, oh, this vehicle was traveling in lane number one. And if he tells me, no, I was traveling in lane number two, I can go back to my evidence and tell him or her, this is where your vehicle was positioned because I have the evidence or I have debris from the, your vehicle or um, scuff marks on the roadway that shows that vehicle was traveling in that lane. Technology is also useful because it's difficult for drivers to argue with hard evidence. We've moved to which is now 3D documentation using the ferrule scanner that we use uh, and that gives you a 360 degree field of view. Um, you can take measurements from that. But investigations before this modern technology weren't all that easy even as early as the 90s. When I first started what we had was a traffic wheel a basically a can of paint and we had to do everything by hand. We had to walk the road. So now the Pharaoh appears at crash scenes, conducting seven or 15 minute scans. We document basically the outer perimeter of the accident scene, and then we'll get the close up data, close up scans of like damaged vehicles or skid marks or evidence that we see at the scene. Then it moves further into the chain of investigations. I will look at all of the evidence and see what are we missing. Is there any surveillance footage that we haven't recovered yet? Is there anybody that hasn't been talked to? Um, is there anybody that needs to be interviewed? If there's something missing, 7-8 crime tips are always taken into consideration. Community help is very important. We don't have eyes everywhere, and with the community, we can solve a lot of these hit and runs or uh, cases that we don't have much information for. As for the Pharaoh, it generates a 3D computer image. Uh, with this, I can rotate it how I want. Verifying driver's line of sight and distances. Let's just say we will measure from this point to that point. And I'll hit enter and then it'll give me from that point to this point, what I measured is 29 point uh, six, six, seven feet. Much of the thorough investigation is dependent on mathematical formulas. When we have the motorcycle accident, we can measure um, the distance the rider was thrown from the motorcycle at the time of the impact, and that will tell us how fast, depending also, we calculate the motorcycle's weight and the rider's weight, um, and we determine how fast the motorcycle was going. The moral of the story is don't be rushed and be considerate of others on the road. You know, a lot of times everyone's in a hurry. Um, everyone's in a hurry to get to work, to get to their next meal, their date. Um, just take your time, slow down. Um, speeding has been a big deal around here. Um, it's important for you to get there safely than to not get there at all. Breaking traffic laws could put you or someone else's life at risk. Although crash investigations are fascinating, you don't want to be center stage in one of these. Reporting in Yuma for this News 11 exclusive, I'm April Hedinger.